Here's Jim. He's a financial accountant. Here's Janet. She's a managerial accountant. Two accountants? What's the difference? Why do we need both? As a financial accountant, Jim keeps track of the company's financial records and produces documents like balance sheets and income statements. These records are made available to the public so investors and creditors can know if the company is in good financial standing and then make decisions based on that information. Janet also uses the information in these documents but then does her own calculations and produces different documents for the company's managers. Even though a manager would want to know if a company's revenue is down, really what the manager needs to figure out is why. This is where Janet comes in. Janet can break down the company's spending by department, product, or process, and then tell the manager exactly how much it costs to produce the company's product or service. Using that information, she can help him find ways to change spending, outsource production, or buy long-term assets like new machinery or property. Later on, she'll provide financial analysis on these decisions to see if they were actually beneficial to the company's overall financial health. Managerial accounting is about taking a company's financial information and turning it into something useful for managers and decision makers. By the end of this course, you'll be able to analyze the ways management uses accounting for planning, control, and feedback, prepare budgets and operating reports for managers, explain cost accumulation and allocation methods, and more.